Hi, superstars. It is time for social studies. We are on chapter five, lesson four. How have jobs changed over time? Let's look over here at these work tools. Jobs change. The tools people use to do their jobs change too. Tools help people do a better job and tools have changed over the years. Let's look at this timeline here. We call this right here a timeline. Now, we're going to circle a tool that people use today. Look at each of these tools. Which one is a tool that people use today? the laptop right here. We use laptops today. What tools did people use long ago? Let's draw a box around the tool that comes first on our timeline. Which one do you think comes first? Right here, the quill. This is a quill, it's a feather, and there's ink. So. A long time ago, people used to write using feathers and they would dip it in ink to write. So work tools have changed over time and we're going to learn more about that. How have jobs changed over time? Then and now. So let's look at farming. Long ago, People worked very hard to grow food. They dug with shovels. They planted seeds with their hands. Horses and plows made the work a little faster. The plow broke up the dirt. So look at this picture. This is how people used to farm. So they had the horses pulling the plows and that would help to make the ground softer so that they could plant. It broke up the dirt. Let's look at this picture over here now. Today, farmers use tractors that dig up the ground and they use machines to plant the seeds. Technology makes the work easier and much faster but the farmers still work hard. So we can see how farming has changed. Over here, they didn't have machines. So they used to have to use the horses and they used to pull the plow to break up the dirt. And now over here, you see tractors and these tractors make it easier. It's still a tough job, but technology is helping make things easier. All right, then and now, let's look at how telephones have changed. Let's look at this first picture over here, right here. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell made the very first telephone. The telephone let people talk to each other from far away. They could use the telephone to get and give information. Telephones long ago were big and a cord connected the handset to the base. So look at this one right here. That was one of the first telephones. Then we had telephones like this, but they were all connected with a cord. So you had to sit in one place. You couldn't get up and travel and go in your car. Now let's look at this picture over here. Today, telephones are very small and very powerful. People still use them to make phone calls. They can also use them to send messages and look up information. Telephones go wherever people go. So telephones have changed the way we work. So when you were outside long ago, you couldn't have a telephone. You'd have to go inside and stand next to the telephone. Now, 
We're traveling in our cars with telephones. We can take our phones everywhere we go. So let's look at how our jobs have changed over time and things that we do. So what is your job at home? Over here, this young boy is helping his father fold the laundry. He says, I love it when the clothes are warm from the dryer. So that's a job you could do. You could help fold the laundry at home. And if we look at this picture here, this young girl helps her mom make dinner. They cook tasty food. So what job do you do at home? All right, let's look at this page right here, page 146. So I want you to think about what we read and think about how some jobs have changed over time. I want you to pretend that you are from the past. That means that you lived a long time ago. And I want you to think about a job that you might have done a long time ago. Then you're gonna draw a picture to show the job that you did in the past or a long time ago. And I want you to label it and tell me, what is that job that you did a long time ago? All right, superstars, you're doing a great job. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.